there is one thing that attracts the presence of God to rest on our lives, and it is holiness. Plain old, flat out, old school, I implore you, sisters, by the mercies of God, to walk in a manner worthy of the calling by which you have been called. That if you come, if I come into this room and we celebrate till we are blue in the face and we wave our hands and we read the scriptures and we worship, but we walk out of here and we live in a way that is incongruent with everything that we've heard here today, If we do not choose to walk in a way that honors God, we will have wasted the time that we have spent here. And if there is something that breaks my heart for my own generation and the generation coming up after me, is that social media has made it so that we are more interested in impressing people than walking holy before our God. We are more interested in being perfectly lit than we are in making sure that we're laying up treasures for ourselves in heaven. Lord, help us when because of our hubris, because of our arrogance, because of our pride, we are more interested in receiving the applause of people than we are of making sure that we will receive the applause of heaven. But a day is coming, y'all, sooner than we think where we're going to look our Savior in his face, where we're going to see him face to face. And when we see him, he will not ask me how many Instagram followers I had. He will not wonder how many people liked my message on Twitter. What he'll ask me is, number one, did I have a relationship with his son Jesus? And then I will give an account. You will give an account. And I don't know about y'all, but when I give an account, I'm looking for a well done. Not because I necessarily please people, but because he is pleased with my life. And the one thing that invites the favor of God on our life, like Simeon, that will open our eyes to see him more clearly so that we don't miss him when he comes into our circumstances, trying to speak to us, to answer us, to make himself apparent in our lives. The one thing that opens up our eyes is God's spirit on us. And if you want, if I want God's spirit on our lives, then we got to decide to live holy. I implore you by the mercies of God to lay aside every sin, every hindrance, anything that is keeping you entangled so that you cannot run with endurance the race that is set before you. Any relationship, sever it at the past so that you can walk holy, sister. Any addiction, any habit, any lifestyle choice that is keeping you from being free and walking in victory in Jesus' name, let it go by the power of the Holy Spirit so that he can rest on your life. Going to church is good, but it's not enough. Doing your Bible study, oh, it's great, but it's not enough. If you want God's presence on you, marking you, making you distinct and different from the people around you, then you got to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord. Be ye holy. It's not perfection. It is a call to yield to the power of the Holy Spirit in you so that you do not give way to all the desires of your flesh. What it means is that you have not chosen as a lifestyle, an attitude or an action that you already know is displeasing to God. You know up front that you've already got on your calendar after this is over, a place you're going or a person you're seeing that you know you don't have any business being in relationship with, but you've already scheduled sin into your calendar. I'm saying walk away from everything that is keeping you from having the biggest, most amazing blessing you can have on your life, and that is God's presence marking you all up on you, setting you apart, girl, for his purposes. 
and with his power evident through your life. If you are in this room and you are in chains in some area of your life where you've tried the 12-step program, you've tried to walk away from that illegitimate relationship, you've tried to not live this lifestyle because you know that it is out of alignment with the truth of God, but everything you've tried in your own power has not set you free so that you can walk in holiness and have God's presence resting on your life. I believe that before this day is over, those chains can fall off of your life. That you can decide that I'm going to live holy so that I can have God's favor like Simeon, so that my eyes can be opened because I want to see my God. I want to hear his voice. I want to have an experience and an encounter with him.